If you're looking to buy any Ultimate Team coins, Mule Factory are back with cheap prices, 24-7 support and 5 minute delivery times on every single order. Make sure to use my discount code IHAS5 when you do check out. If you'd like to win a copy of FIFA 18 when the game does come out, all you need to do is drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel down below and drop a comment with the hashtag FIFA 18. Welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going through all of the dates you'll need to know for FIFA 18. We have the demo release date, the game release date, early access, the web app release date, even things later in the year, possibly team of the year, team of the season, even that far, we might have dates for. So if you want to see another video on how to actually get started on the web app, all the stuff you need to know for that, make sure to drop a like on this video. That should be coming later this week. And also remember, I am on holiday. So to keep all of my stuff, follow my Twitter and my Instagram. There's a link to that in the description down below. But now let's get into this. So we are using the FIFA 18 calendar. I'll leave a link to this in the description down below. It's a website and they do this every single year. They predict the dates and actually give us the confirmed dates as well for FIFA 18 details and news. So here you can see FIFA 18 calendar dates, when everything will happen. So if we scroll down here on the webpage, you can see the first thing, they got this right, August the 10th on the Thursday was the FIFA beta launch. Sadly, I didn't get myself hands on the FIFA beta. I know quite a few other YouTubers did. Drop a comment down below if you got access to the beta. If you want to know how it did it, I think EA just emailed random people and then you were lucky if you got an email for the beta to download it. And it's pretty good. You could do Ultimate Team Pro Clubs and Career Mode, I believe. They gave everyone free packs as well, apparently. But you're not actually allowed to show any of the beta footage on YouTube at all. And apparently you're not even allowed to talk about it. Because I would have done a video telling you guys about some of the beta stuff. But you're not allowed to talk about it on YouTube. Apparently you got EA Strike you. So I'm not taking any risk with that one. Maybe follow my Twitter or something. I could tweet stuff out about the beta. But if you guys had it, drop a comment down below. So here you can see the next day. We're into September. Green colour means it has been confirmed. And red means it's a prediction. So here we have September. 12th of September. On that Tuesday, we hopefully will have the demo launch on FIFA. That is for actually just all of the consoles. and But sometimes it's different for different time zones and the times they release. So you can see 12th is the demo launch. And then 13th is the demo launch for European PlayStation gamers. I'm not too sure. It probably just means because previously you could get the demo early if you actually change your account to a time zone which is slightly ahead. So it might be something like that. But demo 12th or 13th of September. Then a week later on the 19th, fingers crossed, we should get ourselves the FIFA 18 web app. Hopefully we get that then. That is what I'm waiting for. Then we can start trading, start posting a load of content on the web app. And also on that day, the daily gifts do start. If you remember that, when you log on to the web app, you get yourself a daily gift. It can be a free pack or free coins every single day. You can do that. And also the companion app on the same day. A day after that on the Wednesday, it's the first team of the week, which somewhat can be the rarest cards on the game. Just because no one has any coins to buy the packs or the players. So that's the first team of the week. And these dates have been confirmed. The day after that on the Thursday is EA Access. This is the one only on the Xbox consoles. You have to buy the EA Access thing and you can play the game. 10 hours of playtime you get per EA Access thing. And you basically have to pay like the monthly subscription even though you only use it for like FIFA. Then on the 26th is the special like pre-order if you've got the Icon and Ronaldo edition early access. So the actual Xbox users get the game five days earlier if they're on EA Access than the Ronaldo users. And then actually on the 29th, on the Friday, the FIFA 18 release is there. Finally, that's what we've all been waiting for. I should be getting it on the Thursday though with EA Access and the Ronaldo edition. I'll also be giving away a copy of FIFA when the game does come out. So you guys know that, how to enter the giveaway. So those are all the release dates of the FIFA game all on the 29th that Friday and now into actually October we have the Halloween event this time we had last year in the SBCs we had the Scream team we could see something like that these dates aren't confirmed these just predicted probably of what happened last year so we have the 20th there Halloween event then there's Movember in November we had those Movember SBC cards this year then Black Friday all of those packs Cyber Monday lightning rounds and stuff that is pretty good and then in December we have the team of the year nominations we had Futmus, which is really good. SBCs every single day. Hopefully, we could get that again this year. And then heading into January, we have the transfers. The team of the year is released every single week. But I think the team of the year, the actual award ceremony, might have actually been changed to October. I'm not sure, but I think I heard in the news that it got changed to October. But I think Ige will still do it around Christmas time. But you'll just have to wait until you get the cards. So after team of the year, there's the ones to watch event when I bring the new one to watch cards. We had that again. Lunar event. 
then the rating upgrades downgrades things like that st patrick's day we had all of those it was the gold svc where you get random coin rewards from it that was pretty interesting even though most of the time people just lost coins on it nine years of fuck which is basically the fuck birthday event i think it is the eighth year it's been going on for a while on my team another fuck birthday event and then friday the 4th of may is team of the season basically where fifa is at its end the team of the season transfers and then the footies start as we basically just reached the end of in fifa 16 on the 6th of july and after the footies mls all stars maybe on the 27th of july we had the mls team of the season but it was during footies and none really mattered and that's about it for fifa unless ea pulls something out of the bag now but that is everything that should happen in the fifa year on fifa 18 so if you guys are hyped, make sure to drop a like on this video and also drop a comment which is your favourite sort of promo event throughout the years. A team of the season, team of the year, even like the Fuckmas stuff or Fuck Birthday. What was your favourite thing we've had this year? Well, I know. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on my next video.